Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. After all those years in trading, I figured out something. That even if you are the best in the technical analysis and you know exactly when to enter and when to exit, you are not going to make it if you cannot control your emotions. Okay, we are going to see with real examples on Bitcoin what are the emotions that you are having, how you can control them and how you can distinct yourself from others in order to get the profits. Because if you sell someone else buys, right? And smart money is doing that. They are causing panic sell pressures, panic buying pressures even to just let you think that we are going up or we are going down and they eventually grab your money and the price action does the opposite. Fortunately for us, everything, everything is printed on a technical analysis graph. What I mean by that is the candlestick patterns. Okay, so we are going to figure out after all those trading years that I have done, I'm just telling you that if you cannot control your emotions, you cannot win. Okay, but anyway, let's figure out these things. First of all, for BDC right here, you can see on your screens that we are having cycles. Okay, the cryptocurrency market is having cycles. Why is the cryptocurrency market is so famous? First of all, it is a new technology. Secondly, you can get very, very huge profits, but you can lose so much at the same time. Okay, very risky market. But at the end of the day, it is a very addictive market, right? People are just being totally crazy over crypto projects. It is something that is going to be in this world and it is going to remain as a very, very needed technology, okay? But anyway, let's go right here to see. So after a very, very huge bearish momentum, I'm going to go to the bearish markets as well. Do not worry about that. But after a huge bearish momentum, you can see that the climbing starts. I'm going to expose what are the emotions on its face. So right here, after this crash on the pandemic, what did we have is a slide of recovery. Okay, in this uptrend, you are building your confidence slightly back, but you are not sure if this is going to keep going. For example, you're not sure if this is buying pressure right here is going to meet another swing high towards the next few months. So you are having a little bit of a nice, nice amount of belief that yes, we could do it. However, you are in disbelief yet because you haven't seen the price action that you would want to see. And then you're getting into the price correction right here, the minus 12% in just one week. And then you have slight chances of disbelief, right? You might be going here down and then you start panic selling again. But after that, what we are seeing is that we are riding the 20 day MA, we are going all the way up, and this is where your confidence is getting back for sure, and you realize that we are having something good for now. Now, many people right here haven't rode the train yet, especially people that are not into the crypto market and they just came in after the 2020, after the 2021 bull market. There are many people coming into the crypto market every single day, especially in the bull markets, we have the newcomers. And the newcomers right here do not know if this is a bubble or many believe that this is a bubble, right? They still believe that, but anyway, newcomers right here, they haven't bought yet because they are afraid. They are afraid that something is going to happen. And what happens is that many people are getting into here, okay? They are getting into this position, into this two candlesticks. At this time, we are having a mini correction. And people that are not handling their emotions, they are selling immediately. So what is happening is that we are having people that they are selling with the first correction. These are the people that cannot handle the pressure with one single day. And they keep losing because they are just selling too early. These are the people that also spend too much money that they care about, 
Okay, so another rule on the crypto market is not to spend money that you care about in any investment. Spend money that you do not care about. Let's say, for example, that you have 10K and you want to spend the 2K out of them and you want to leave the another 8K, right? The 2K you do not care about, the 2K. So you start the trading with the 2K and then you leave it as it is. If you are good, you will multiply it. But if you are not good and you lose, let's say, for example, you go to the 1K, do not add more from your bank account. Always remember that you should be not adding more. Okay, the 1K, you have to make it to the 2K again by yourself. This is how you build the discipline. This is how you strongly build your emotions and the fact that you can control your emotions. Okay, so right now what we have is that many people get here and exit here. And this is the time where most people are getting it. Unfortunately, this is the time where everyone is greedy. This is the greedy phase. Okay. And you can see right here that you're buying here, you're failing here, then you rebuy and you're saying that, okay, I'm going in right now. It keeps going up and up. Everyone is talking about it on Twitter. Everyone is saying that Bitcoin is going to 100K. Everyone is being extremely bullish, extremely greedy. Everyone is posting how much money they got from futures. Oh, I got 1000%, I got 2000%, right? Everyone is crazily, crazily happy, but at the same time, something is holding back. And this is what, if you do not know technical analysis and you bought something because you heard of a friend, then you're going to get losses. So what has happened right there was huge bearish RSA divergence kicking off, week of distributions coming in, and many people actually bought into this fake out. You can see this was a week of distribution schematic right here. And therefore, many people then went to lose their crypto because what they did after the greedy phase, after the belief right here, and after the semi-belief, semi-disbelief, because we had some crazy bearish days before, right now what is happening is that people are selling because they think this is over. 25%, 24%, 20% in just two weeks. So that adds into 50% around in just two weeks. Insane crash right here. And many people are selling out. Into a bearish market, you, we will see afterwards what are the phases, but let's go and proceed, steadily proceed this whole picture of the 2021 and 2022. So what people did right here was to sell. Smart money even sold. But then we had something beautiful. We had here the sideways price action while we were having huge oversold coming with higher lows in the risk matrix. We were seeing the inflows of Bitcoin decreasing rapidly. Outflows were increasing so much that it was the best thing ever. Okay, and so you can see that many, many people and smart money were accumulating there, especially during the 12th and the 5th July. The total hash rate of Bitcoin was going higher, and therefore this was a great time of reaccumulation. But normal people did not buy here. They were still cautious that we might see a despair. And what has happened right there, in 12th July, they were all just leaving crypto. Okay, on 12 July, I remember exactly 12, between 12 and 19 July, on these days of downtrend right here, everyone was exiting right here. Everyone was in a despair mode that we are going all the way down. And this is where the outburst came. And many, many people did not buy at the first glance because they thought that, oh, okay, we are not going up all the way here. This is another fake out and we are going to drop down, right? You are mainly shocked by what crypto did back then and you are afraid. But as we are going up, you are buying. And then the same history happens. You sell, sell right here, you buy high, you sell low. Okay, minimize the loss. Then someone else buys here again, 
you haven't bought because you sold and you are now afraid not to lose more, but you will buy here and this is it. Then the time is up, it crashes down, everyone has built their greedy face again. People were talking about 100k, 200k again, and then we fell down. And now we are coming into the bearish market part. A lot of YouTubers, including me sometimes, right? They do not admit that they failed. Instead, they are trying to find ways out that it is possibly a normal correction and we keep going higher, right? So many people are saying this and traders, simple traders, do not believe that they have lost so much. They think that, oh, it is going higher. But then it comes, the downtrend keeps going down more and more and you're like, okay, I'm now in a completely loss. I'm still holding though. And you're coming down here and this is a very, very huge depression mode where you think that, okay, I'm going to sell everything as I can, and then the swing high of relief is coming, right? And you sell at the worst possible time. You're not believing that this is going up elsewhere unless you are here, and this is where the bull trap begins. You're like going sideways, then you have the breakout, okay? You're having the breakout right here, and you eventually buy more. And this is where the bull drop stands into a whole bearish market. And this is where you lose money again. And you're going down here and you're thinking that we might be going up. But at the end of the day, we had the Luna crash. We had everything down there on May. Crazy, crazy stuff. Minus 12%. And Bitcoin is going further down more. So right now, if you see the whole week, we are into a phase where you we are in a depression mode. Okay, we have approached this phase and we will dig deeper down into the depression mode. This comes after the anger. This comes after um, the chance of seeing something good. Okay, you have hopes. Then you are getting angry with your choices. Then you are getting sad. Then you are getting depressed, right? These are the emotions that come and take into place. And we are going right now to the solutions. How can you fix your buying high, selling low orders and your selling low, buying high orders, right? So we are going to see that, okay? First of all, set a goal. Set a goal as a trader and know yourself. What I mean by that is, are you a person that is getting anxious really, really fast because we are different people, right? I might be having an anxiety disorder or something like that. It is okay. But if you're getting anxious in every single time, then you should be extremely careful and you should think that it is better to invest in something to wait despite the price fluctuations and not check the charts all the time. If you cannot handle the, per the pressure, find yourself and say that I'm having a goal. Let's say that I'm accumulating right now until Bitcoin reaches the 100K in which then I'm selling. Okay. Perfect stuff right there. Perfectly fine and perfectly good. As you can see, we have corrected so much, we might correct even more, right? But in overall, we are in a very, very huge oversold situation with every risk metric, right? So this whole thing right here is a great way to accumulate for the more long term, okay? So if you are a person that is having anxiety or, or you are, cannot deal with the, the pressure of everyday charts, then just have an investing plan. If you are a person that can deal with the anxiety, that can deal with the pressure, then I would suggest you to look for more short-term targets, always using stop loss in order to avoid these mistakes. So what many people never did here, they do not know how to use stop loss. There are many traders that do not know how to use it, what is stop loss, and this is the worst thing. If you ever had a stop loss right here, right here, let's say, for example, you would just avoid all this mess and then you would take better decisions. What every trader is doing is that if you're feeling anxiety and you're just selling at a loss of around minus 20%, let's say, for example, what you're doing is you're trying to recover this 20% loss, okay? And you need then around 25% profits. But then you're taking every action right there recklessly and you're not thinking thoroughly, you have an anxiety, you just want to take it as quick as possible and you do the mistake after every mistake. And then you sell and you sell and you sell and you end up with a minus 50%. 
and then you're just completely into a depression mode. What needs to be avoided right there is that you should be having a stop loss, right? Always, always have it. If you're a person that can handle the pressure, the pressure, go into the lower time frames, try to be disciplined. What I mean by that, set a goal for yourself. Is it 10% for you good in the monthly frame? Is it 20% good? Is it 30% good? Stick to the plan and never, never exit. What I'm trying to say is that if you have made a 30% within a month or a 10% within a month and you have set the goal of a 10 or 30, then just leave it as it is and do not trade. If you do not take any action, this is an action as well. Because of trading, there are many days which you do not want to be so active. You want to observe the market and you want to see what you will actually do. So right there, in overall, what I'm trying to say is that in the crypto market, what we want to do and what we want to see, especially with the huge volatile, volatility that crypto market has, is that you need to know, of course, the targets. You need to know the technical analysis. You need to know the exact price targets. For example, right here on Bitcoin, we always said about the 31.8 and its importance, right? So therefore, what you need to do, the 31.8K is a very important target. And this is where you should be seeing us if we can close above and we have the targets above, way above that, for example, at 32.3K, 32.5, then I'm going to enter. If not, I'm going to just exit any short-term trades that I have, right? So therefore, this is something that you should be always always doing. The same goes for Ethereum, right? There was a greedy phase right here with Ethereum because it kept going up and up and we thought that Ethereum were going to, was going to 20k, especially from YouTubers that want to cause the hype and they want to have more clicks. They are just trying to say there that we are having 10k, all right? And people are very, very much more talkative in a bull market than a bear market. And this is what caused the greedy effect, right? And many do not trust the technical analysis. And they do not trust that, yeah, something cannot keep going up forever. And it is very healthy to correct. They do not trust that. Instead, they think that it is going all the way up to 100K, 200K, and then correct. Something that it is illogical. Okay. Anyway, for the time being, for BTC right here, what, how you can control your emotions, set a goal, know yourself, right? And do the opposite of what people are doing. If you are seeing many, many people are talking about very sentiment and the whole Twitter goes up to say that 90% of 95% is talking about a very sentiment for Bitcoin, then just try and do the opposite. It will clearly work. I'm just telling you that smart money want to buy what the 9% will sell so they can accumulate more and then they are going to exit with some huge and nice profits. If you want more educational videos like these, then I would really, really like if you can comment down below. And of course, I would really love if you can join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Thank you and see you soon.